Hi, everybody. I'm Yi Tao Liang, a graduate student from College of Biomedical Engineering and Instrumental Science, Zhejiang University. Now, I am going to present my research named as an electrochemical immunosensor for global DNA methylation determination using magnetic bead-based enrichment and enzymatic amplification. First of all, I'd like to provide some background information about our work as one of the major epigenetic modifications of DNA. DNA methylation, which is that a methyl group was added to the fifth carbon of a cytosine following a guanine nucleotide, also known as CPG sites, is known to be crucial in various biological processes, including gene expression regulation. Alteration of this five methyl cytosine at global levels is gaining prominence as biomarkers for clinical application. To confront the challenge that amounts of methylated DNA in clinical sample is low, strategies have been exploited to concentrate the analysts. Immunomagnetic beads afford a quite attractive characteristic in aspects of sensitivity because they are capable to achieve high loadings of biomolecules in solution under constant stirring. Enrichment of methylated DNA with anti-5-methylcytosine-coated magnetic beads has been demonstrated by previous published work. As for detection signal, multiple enzymes are considered as tracer labels in the development of electrochemistry-based assay. For example, horseradish peroxidase, HRP, glucose oxidase, GOX. Incorporation of electron transfer mediators, ETM, at the surface of the electrode improves the electron communication between the redox center of biomolecules and the electrode. Among all the available options, Prussian brew, abbreviated as PV, has been utilized extensively due to its excellent properties as a transducer platform for hydrogen peroxide quantification. The electrocatalytic ability of PB towards hydrogen peroxide reduction can be induced at a very low voltage, which offers specificity to peroxide um, detection. What's next is what we have done basically. The fabrication process of the screen printed electrodes on the rubber magnet sheet was similar to our previous work. Briefly, silver, silver chloride paste, PB doped carbon ink, and isolated oil were successively printed onto the substrate. After ultrasonic cleaning process with ethanol and deionized water, the substrate was heated for 30 minutes at 60 Celsius degree to let the paste dry and eliminate residual solvent after each printing step. Finally, individual screen printed electrode was formed by cutting the screen printed film. Altogether, the SPE consisted of three electrodes, a PB doped working electrode, a silver silver chloride electrode and a carbon electrode acting as reference and a counter electrode respectively. This slide shows the schematic representation of the method for global DNA methylation detection. Extracted genomic DNA was denatured before specifically captured by anti-5 methylcytosine magnetic beads, and then followed by immunorecognition of DNA using anti-DNA glucose oxidase antibody conjugates. GOX here was employed as an enzyme label whose catalytic response was used to determine the genomic methylation level. Then I am going to present some results to confirm the plausibility of the proposed assay. Electrochemical performance of screen printed Prussian brew electrodes was explored before their application to the detection of hydrogen peroxide generated from the oxidase-catalyzed reactions. Left diagram shows 
Representative amplometric response traces obtained using PV electrode at negative 0.1 voltage working potential in the buffer containing different hydrogen peroxide concentrations, which demonstrates that an increase in hydrogen peroxide concentration yielded in a growth of reduction current amplitude, which verifies the cat electrocatalytic reduction of hydrogen peroxide. And pyrometric responses of PB electrode were taken at the 60 second by applying three different fixed working potentials and the acquired current change in response to increasing hydrogen peroxide was illustrated in the middle. As calibration plot of current responses obtained from amperometric curves versus hydrogen per peroxide at different working potentials, since the quantity of hydrogen peroxide produced by GOX was deemed to be small, the concentration range of hydrogen peroxide reduction test conducted at the surface of PB electrode was between one to two micromolar. In the right figure, the corresponding sensitivity of these working potentials was compared. Sensitivity of hydrogen peroxide is a slope of calibration curve like the middle diagram, which was plotted as hydrogen peroxide concentration versus the current value at the 60 second of the amperometric response. The PV electrode had good electrocatalytic ability towards hydrogen peroxide at negative 0.1 voltage, which was selected as the applied potential for later amperometric measurements. Whole genome application was extracted from human hepatic cell line LO2, and it was considered to be 0% methylated as negative control. Specificity of the assay was investigated by incubating equal quantity of CPG methylated Jucat genomic as 100% methylated DNA and unmethylated, as mentioned before, WGA DNA with NT5 methylcytosine magnetic beads, after which the amperometric measurements were implemented for both samples after labeling with anti DNA GOX. Comparison of amperometric response obtained from Jacquard DNA read in this figure WGA negative control as brown, and no target sample with same procedure black in the left figure which manifests a significant difference in current response between these two samples. Results of additional sets of experiment where a buffer was used rather than the targets with um, negligible response made a further confirmation that the presence of methylation is highly required to obtain the acid response. Overall, the response from controls and the synthetic samples clearly implicates the specificity of this assay to, de de to detect DNA methylation with negligible background response. The analytical characteristics of the assay for 5-methylcytosine were evaluated to use a serious methylated DNA concentrations. A typical current response of various amount of global methylation in the presence of 5 molar glucose is displayed in the middle. What's more, the corresponding constructed calibration curve is shown in the right, suggesting that the electrochemical current response is proportional to the methylated DNA concentration. To summarize, a screen printed PV doped carbon electrode on magnetic substrate absorbing anti 5 methylcytosine coated magnetic beads which could distinguish methylated and unmethylated DNA by affinity interaction, interaction had been successfully applied to quantify the global DNA methylation through an electrochemical enzymic redox reaction. Lastly, I sincerely appreciate for your time. <laughs>